We're gonna take a quick look at these Lion Energy uh, Safari batteries. These are really, really nice. They're pretty lightweight at about 23 pounds. They've got over 3,500 cycles and they are direct plug and play replacement for lead acid batteries. Now I generally use the Lion Energy over the Battleborn simply because they're hundred bucks cheaper and they got a couple extra features that I like. There's nothing wrong with the Battleborns. They are amazing batteries. They're fantastic. I can't recommend them enough. However, the Lion Energy Safari UT1300s I also really, really like and is generally my go-to recommended external battery. I've used these with my Titan solar generator. I actually started using these quite some time ago. However, the videos that I had made, for some reason I had some issues. But tag along with me and you'll see why I like these Safari UT1300 batteries so much from Lion Energy. Now, one of the first things that I like is actually the post here. Really easy to screw on and screw off the tops. That way you can easily mount stuff here. So I can just put whatever cables I need to connect right there and then screw them right on. And then as well, it does come with these wing nuts right here. So I can use these actually to uh, put stuff here onto these posts as well. So this makes it really easy to attach any cables that I need to, which I'm about to do here on my travel trailer. You can see it's got this battery meter, just push the button and then it tells me exactly how full it is. So I love just being able to see it right off the bat. I don't have to grab a voltmeter. This goes from about 12.8 to 14.6 volts. Now, one of the differences from the Lion Energy is if I remember correctly, these are rated to drain up to 150 amps amps, whereas the Battleborns are rated to drain up to 200 amps. So if you need a higher drain, then go with the Battleborns, and I'll put the links down below for the Safari as well as the Battleborn. But either way, I have never had a problem with these batteries. They have worked wonderful for me. They're lithium iron phosphate. It's actually got all the specs right here on them. And lithium iron phosphate really, really is the way to go when you don't need portability. If you need some type of portability, then I still recommend lithium ion or lithium NMC. Uh, I think like the Titan ones are really great. Those are lithium NMC and they have over 2000 cycles on them at over 2000 watt hours. This is just over 1300 watt hours. So when I put two of these together, I'm effectively looking at about 2700 watt hours. So this is like adding almost one and a half Titan batteries to my Titan system that's in my RV that I'm gonna show you right now. But what I do like about this is because it can be connected in series or parallel I can basically configure it however I want and these really are pretty light like they're 23 pounds they're really not bad for what you get and these handles lay right down very easy I haven't had any issues with them so I just really really like them overall I haven't found a single gripe to have with these batteries so you can see I've got my Titan here underneath the bed in my RV I've got a 27 foot travel trailer that I 100% boondock in with the Titan solar generator. And it's really nice because I've got two arrays of solar going in here on the side. And then I just plug the RV 30 amp plug right here in the front. And then it just runs everything as if I had shore power. And this has two Titan batteries, which is 4,000 watt hours. And the Titan batteries are 24 volt batteries. These are 12 volt batteries. And so the way I usually attach the Lion Energy batteries is I first get this external battery adapter. Uh, you can just find this at poweredportablesolar.com. This is a heavy gauge cable with 150 amp fuse breaker in it. That way I know it's nice and safe. When I attach any external battery to my Titan, the first thing I have to do is get the voltage of these two batteries the same as the battery that is on the Titan. So the easiest way to do that is, first of all, I would have to connect these in series because when connected in series, voltage goes up and amps stay the same. So I would just go from this positive to this negative, and then this positive and negative here would become the one that actually attaches to this cable right here, just like so. And then this would plug straight into the side of the Titan. And it's really that simple. So all I have to have is a couple of cables to go from the positive to the negative here, or even from this negative to that positive, and then I have the 24 volt setup. And then I simply just have to charge these or discharge my Titan to where they are within 0.5 volts of each other. At that point, I then plug this into the Titan and uh, adjust the screen to add the amp hours that are set in here. So that way the screen can read out properly. So it really is that simple to add external batteries to the Titan. Don't use lead acid, uh, it's just really not worth it. Either lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate is definitely the way to go. You can use lead acid, but because lead acid is only able to discharge down to 50%, you actually cut the overall battery capacity in half by adding lead acid. So just stick with a lithium base. So one option 
would be to keep the lead acid batteries that I have on the front and then just connect these to the Titan because the batteries that are in the front are actually being charged by the solar through the Titan, just like it would with shore power. In the event that these batteries and the Titan batteries got completely drained, those batteries would effectively become my backup to all of this but those lead acid batteries need to be replaced. And this is the best option. Uh, I'm probably gonna be using the extra styrofoam that came in the boxes with these to help fill the space because these are much lighter and take up less space in the compartment. But I just wanted to show you that it is possible to add these to the Titan very easily with that cable. So let's go ahead and go around up front and we'll show how to connect these up. So here at the front of the RV, you can see I got the two batteries. They're pretty old, so they definitely need to be replaced. And basically all I'm gonna be doing is disconnecting these wires from these posts and then putting them on the new posts of the Lion Energy batteries. And it's really that simple. So let me show you how I do that. So coming out of the RV, they got my negative here, which is the white and my positive, which is the red. And I'm going to use these cables to connect between the negatives and the positives to go parallel. Sorry for the angles, gonna have to work around all this. So I got that negative on. This is going to be my main negative. I need to connect this negative cable between the negative and negative to connect the two batteries in series and then add my main cable right here to actually power the RV. And it is one rigid cable. Okay, just get those taut for now. And I'll do the same for the positive. So now I'll take this red cable, connect it positive to positive with the other positive going into the RV. I'll put positive and positive. I know voltage and electricity is scary for people. It is for me too. But 12 volts is gonna be just all right. Well, overall, it's really, really easy. I got my negative to negative cable here, that's the black, and my positive to positive cable here, that's the red, and then my RV negative here, and my RV positive right here. So all that's left to do is to put the lids on. I'm gonna stuff some foam up here in the fronts of these, that way they are a little bit more secure because these are actually smaller. So they have more than twice the capacity of the lead acid batteries I was using. Just like that. And then I have these harness straps here that I use just to keep everything Nice and tight. Got my new lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now I'll go turn on the Titan, which will actually start charging these via the solar panels. Yep, it's pulling about 500 watts. It's charging up those batteries, no problem. Now the solar panels have started kicking in. The MPPT charge controller is working. And because I did a series parallel combo of the panels on the roof, by the way, if you haven't gone and seen my video on how I completely redid the solar on this, so that way I can use as much power as I want, then you'll wanna go check out that video. The solar panels are going, but it's full, so there's really nothing to put in there. So now as this drains and charges up those batteries, then the solar panels will start recharging this system, which in effect, will then charge those backup batteries. That's all there is to it. I really, really do like the Lion Energy batteries. The Safari UT1300s are very good. They're gonna last forever. We will not use 3,500 days in this RV in my lifetime. That is effectively 10 years of nonstop camping. And in those 10 years, that would be draining those batteries all the way to zero and then fully back up 3,500 times and that's just really not gonna happen. So it's enough power to run pretty much everything except the air conditioner by itself, just you know, without the Titan. And then I would still recommend running the fridge on propane if you just had those onboard batteries. But with the Titan, I can run the fridge using electricity, but in reality, the fridge doesn't use that much propane at all, but I do have an ever chill, really awesome DC fridge that I'll have another video on, so make sure you go check that one out. But I do get to turn on the air conditioner on high while having a Titan. This uh, uses about 1300 watts and I have 2100 watts of panels on the roof. So on a really good sunny day, I could actually be running the air conditioner while getting a small charge into those batteries. The Titan seriously is currently the best option for RVs. It's what I use for my backup for my house as well as what I run my off-grid cabin 100% of the time. We've been running it for 16 months now non-stop off of a titan solar generator the lion energy batteries are awesome thanks for tuning in make sure you go check out the other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe be prepared we'll see you in the next video